guys, it's Sabah Charmings and welcome back to another video. A company called Perksona reached out to me and they actually sell iPhone cases based off your personality. I've never seen anything like this before and when they asked me if I wanted to review their cases, I had to say yes because things like this interest me so much and I thought it was so cool that they have a whole personality test that you could take on their website and then you can choose a case to match your personality. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, I cannot wait to find out what my personality is and throw that case right on after this video. On their website, you can browse their iPhone cases. You can literally read more about your personality. You can take the test so you can choose what case you really need. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm actually gonna read to you guys what they do. This is a page on their website. And I think, honestly, this is enough information that you're gonna need to wanna support this company. A girl named Sasha went through high school desperately wanting to fit in. Although she tried to blend, they pointed out what made her different and ridiculed her endlessly. Years later, she discovered that what made her difference were strengths, not weaknesses, and should be expressed, not smothered. She designed these cases to help the thousands of people out there who are in the same spot. And that's what Perksona is all about, a campaign against intense pressures to modify our quirks or change our taste to fit in with the group. We want people to know that it's really okay to be yourself, to stand out, and to think for yourself without the fear of embarrassment or shame. I literally am so for it. I love it, I love it. I just read The Silent Patient and it made me literally just think more about life and this phone case company is literally what I need now. Self-expression has many forms. It could be an awe-inspiring piece of art, a scientific innovation, even a joke between friends. If there's one thing we all have in common, it's that we all need to express ourselves. A burning desire to take what's inside our head and release it into the world. It's the reason for many great achievements in society. Imagine a world where self-expression was dead. A great existence where everything blends into the next. No new racial ideas, no eye-catching flares. That's the route we're on today, as conformity is rampant in our society. It is evident in our school systems, in our institutions, in mass media. That's why it's essential for each of us to walk the path of self-discovery and resist conformity through unique self-expression. I think that took me five minutes to read and I'm ready to hop right into the test. The first question is most of the time I'm quite talkative. I'm going to say I I don't know if I'm neutral or I partly agree because it depends who I'm with. I think I'm gonna put that I partly agree just because when I'm with my friends I can talk so much or when I'm with someone and I slowly get comfortable with them I can talk but if I don't know you I don't really want like I don't no, I'm awkward. I feel like that's literally everybody. I'm gonna put I partly agree because I can talk forever if I need to. I worry about what could go wrong often. Honestly, I'm going to strongly agree on that one just because I'm literally full of anxiety. So we're just gonna agree. Most cultural norms are no longer relevant. I'm gonna go neutral on that one. People say I tell the best stories. That is so funny because I literally can barely tell a story. I could have the best story, but it is not coming out of my mouth properly. I don't know why I can't form English sentences sometimes, but I'm just gonna say I partly disagree because I don't think I've ever had somebody tell me, oh, your, your stories are so good, but I know I have some good stories. I'm a risk taker and thrill seeker. Be a risk taker. I feel like I'm not fully a risk taker, but I seek thrills like, for example, going on a super, like the biggest roller coaster in the world. I would love to do that. I enjoy being alone. Um, I absolutely hate being alone. I hate it. I can't go shopping alone because I'm just like, what the hell? I can only go shopping alone if I know what I'm getting and I'm gonna get right out. I just feel so weird. I'd much rather have somebody with me. I mean, there obviously are the points where I prefer to be alone, but I'm just gonna say I agree, disagree. I strongly disagree just because I feel like that's really me. I enjoy philosophical discussions. I'm going to say I agree. I'm gonna partly agree just because I feel like I don't strongly agree. I don't really like, you know, what do you call it? Not debate, but like add my two cents, I guess. If everybody's doing something, I do the opposite. I'm gonna agree because I literally, I hate paying attention to what other people are doing. I can do my own thing, you know? So I'm gonna strongly agree. I feel bad for people easily. Okay, 1,010%, I'm going to say <sighs> that I strongly agree. One time I was in Toronto I was in a food truck and a guy came in. You know, there's tweakers and then there's people who actually need money for food. We're in this really bomb Mexican food like truck and this guy comes in and he's like, do you have 10 cents? And I was like, oh, 10 cents? Like, 
bitch, what are you going to buy with 10 cents? So I gave him a $5 bill. Um, I think he went to buy something other than food. I like to keep things moving. Oh my gosh, I'm going to strongly agree on this. I will wake up and have to just start my day. I don't know. I can't sit in bed anymore. So I'm going to say I strongly agree. I always have to be doing something. It's kind of annoying. Kind of really annoying. I usually end up directing at group activities. I'm not going to lie. In high school, I was pretty much the leader of like every group i feel like i cannot stand when nothing is going on i'm just gonna say i strongly agree because i hate being in groups where people just don't do anything and then i just always have to end up directing others it's not like i sign up to be the person directing others it's just like i feel like if things aren't going on track it's my responsibility you know i believe in donating it to the homeless i do i do believe in donating to the homeless but there are people out there who pretend to be homeless and will stand on the side of the street begging for money and I do not like you. If you are healthy enough to be wearing steel toe boots and standing at the corner of a street, I think you could use that time to stand in a building working for a company. I've always wanted to go downtown and get some like big bulk packages of like snacks from Costco and just hand them out. So I'm gonna say I strongly agree. I've memorized facts on a variety of subjects. Partially disagree just because I feel like my brain doesn't soak in information. <laughs> like I will forget a fact right after you tell me. So partially disagree. In difficult situations, I wait for others to take charge. I'm gonna strongly disagree just because I've already explained myself on that one. I enjoy breaking rules. I'm gonna strongly disagree. I hate it. I go camping. I'm quiet after nine. Like there's quiet time hours anywhere I'm respecting that like it's kind of sad but I hate breaking rules it's just like why disturb the peace no matter how others feel I do what I want this could go like literally two ways because like honestly I'm trying to be my own person like I don't care what other people say I'm trying not to care what other people say what I have to do because I'm my own person what does what do I have to do with you or you know like why do you care what i'm doing with my life like live your own you know if you think what i'm doing is a mistake don't do it i don't just do what i want regardless of other, what other people feel for example i'm not gonna punch somebody in the face or call them something rude because i know people have feelings i'm not gonna like toss someone's stuff on the ground just because i want so i'm gonna say i'm neutral i'm a high energy person actually i'm neutral right now i'm trying to get back on track to being that high energy person again but going to say actually oh my god that's so hard i'm gonna partially agree just because it's in between i wouldn't mind temporary anarchy it could be fun i'm going to strongly disagree when dealing with others it's important to be fair i'm going to strongly agree with that one because i literally hate when people are making a group decision and leave someone out I strongly agree it's fun to play with unusual or abstract ideas yes i'm going to strongly agree i love to talk about things like the afterlife or like mandela effects and shit like that so i'm just gonna strongly agree on that one i enjoy making others happy yeah i strongly agree but sometimes i'm not even capable of making myself happy i'm very spontaneous strongly agree i'm positive i can handle any situation i'm not positive i can handle any situation i would try my best to handle it so i'm going to say i partially agree i try to stay away from crowds of people honestly i'm going to just say i'm neutral on this one just because it depends who the crowd is. <laughs> I like exploring at new places. 110% strongly agree. I love to compete. I'm going to strongly agree just because I literally loved playing sports and rugby all the time, but we would always lose. <laughs> I can feel others' pain. <sighs> Partially disagree because as much as I think I could feel someone else's pain, I really don't truly know what that person is feeling. After I reach a goal, I quickly set a higher one. I'm going to say yes, even though it's not often that I complete goals, which is something I'm working on, but I actually just completed a goal, so what am I saying? I finished a book, and I'm already going to buy a second one. I'm going to strongly agree because I like to set myself goals, and if I do complete a goal, yes, I want to set a higher one. I'm constantly revising plans for the future. Partially agree. I approach most situations logically. I'm going to agree so we've got my results i'm shook it because i wasn't expecting it to pop up right now so i got my personality here and i'm an altruist so i'm gonna go ahead and read it it says i'm selfless and caring and i believe that there's still good in the world wow my theme song is i'll stand by you by the pretenders my four core values are compassion 
friendship and harmony fairness guys i'm literally gonna read this out right now so compassion you are extremely empathetic and hate to see anyone around you in pain you are constantly consoling those in despair doing your best to cheer them up you radiate positivity, goodwill, and never hesitate to reach for your wallet and fill a homeless person's stomach. That is so weird that it said that because I just told you guys about how I whipped out $5. Definitely 100% me, I gotta say. It's, I love personality tests, they kind of creep me out. You put time and effort into your relationships with other people. They usually open up to you and look to you for support, so you usually know all about what's going on in their life. Well, my friends, you let me know if that's true. Do think about me when you're sad. Harmony, you value balance and tranquility in your life, and you will go out of your way to keep it. This makes you keen in spotting disharmony in situations or groups of people and work to keep the peace. I gotta say. That is me. <laughs> and lastly, fairness. So you hate to see anyone being treated unfairly. You will fight for the rights of others, even when it's inconvenient for you to do so. This can win you friends and admirers wherever you go. So you can also learn about yourself and then you can learn about the other types of people. So you got jovial, altruist, sage, monarch, and a rebel. So I'm gonna go ahead and literally see the iPhone cases that I have because I have a whole box here with each type of case. So here is my persona box. Guys, I'm so excited to open this. Now that I know I'm an altruist, I gotta embrace it. I have no case on my phone right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Guys, here's my symbol right here. I'm literally falling in love with this. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. The box is actually adorable, by the way. <gasps> Take a stand against conformity through unique self-expression. Guys, I absolutely love this company. This company is going to make me cry because the fact that they're out here trying to make people like happy and they have good values and morals. I love, love, love this because people usually do things just for money nowadays. And now we have a cool ass phone case company. <gasps> Oh my god, the cases literally have my initials on it. Guys, I'm so shook. You guys are gonna see the cases. They have my freaking initials on them. I didn't even notice this until just right now and I'm going off, but I need to open this letter first because I love personalized letters. Dear Charlene, I hope you're having a great day. I want to thank you for collaborating with us. We hope you enjoy the cases and would like to bring more value to your channel in the future. There's thousands of people who feel pressured to modify their personalities in the face of conformity. Together, we can give them an opportunity to fight back and own their strengths. Thanks for being a part of that. Thank you literally so much for this letter. The fact that it personally said my name on it was awesome. I love that. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm actually genuinely in love with these cases. So here they are, by the way, they're in the case. They gave me one of each personality. So I can literally have four personalities if I want, but no, I'm an altruist, so don't get me. I'm gonna go ahead and just like whip out the case that I am. <gasps> It's so cute. So they sent me the ultra cool teal case and guys, okay, hold on. Let me just open this. Oh my gosh, the case is like actually super good quality as well. These cases only go for $19. You and your friends could literally take the test and then order cases and be matching, but like with your own personalities. That is the cutest thing ever. I'm definitely gonna order from the site just because I love what they do and I need to support them, so. Here is my case, guys. The quality of the case is awesome. It is silicone, but then this here is hard, and I love that. I love silicone cases. They are my number one favorite cases, but when you add the hard backing to it, it's literally like, just send it to me at that point. It does have a little bit of a sparkle to it, which is awesome, and the quality is literally so nice, guys. I cannot. So this case was inspired by a passion for compassion and a need for harmony. It says it's durable, PC plus TPU hybrid protective case, textured sides for firm grip, which is true. There is a texture on these sides and a slim close fit for ease of use and ultimate user experience. Guys, they sell these in all iPhone models and I love that they picked the teal version of the case for me because I love it. When I tell you I'm going to slide this onto my phone like now, I'm serious. This is a jovial sky blue case and like I said, I'm not a jovial, but I freaking love these cases. So this is a jovial case. Once again, awesome, awesome quality. And it has my initials on the bottom corner. Guys, I'm literally in love. The sun symbol is so cute. This is so cute. So this case was inspired by a love for adventure and a zest of life. I love this. 
guys, this company is gonna make me cry. This is a Sage Deep Coral case and it is inspired by a love for logic and a quest of curiosity. I love this one. Love, 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 guys. When I tell you the quality of these cases is literally awesome. They have a little shine to them. Wow. This is the Maverick case. Uh, this one's inspired by the thrill of risk and the rocket-like innovation and creativity. Like, these are so cool. Lastly, this is the Monarch Royal Green case and it is inspired by the desire to win and knack for strategic thinking. That's all the cases. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my Altris case on and I'm gonna... Let's finish off with some final words. Guys, I'm a totally for this company and I'm hoping that I get to work with them again just because I'm so with their message. After they messaged me and I looked into their stuff, I was like pretty interested, but now that I've actually unboxed their stuff and read more of their information and all that, this company 110% has my heart and I'm gonna have to recommend them to you guys. If you guys are interested in purchasing anything off Perksona, Literally use my code for 35% off. My code is MINX35. I love the message. I love the cases and I have never felt like such a connection with a company before. Thank you guys so much for sending me these cases. I'm going to rock my case. Guys, the branding's on point. The website's on point. The message is on point. There's nothing I can find that I hate about this company or don't like about this company i 110 percent recommend them to you guys and thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you guys liked like watching me do the personality test because maybe i'll do some other tests and film it so let me know so that's gonna be for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed like i said make sure you guys use minx 35 at checkout if you're interested in taking the test and getting your own phone case I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, subscribe if you aren't already. We're on a road to 10,000 subscribers. Bitch, what? And I'm out.